Let's take a look at three very simple functions, very similar functions, but very powerful functions. These deal with text-based operations. Take a look at the example that I have here. I'm back inside the exercise file. This is called the left, right, mid functions worksheet. And the example that I have set up here, we've got a simple little table on the left, SKU number, product name, retail price. And then on the right, we've got a breakdown of the SKU number. The first three characters of the SKU represent the supplier ID. The middle three represent the part number and the last two represent the product code. Now, I could do this manually, and I'm sure some of us have done this before. You ever, you ever need to break up a value, some text value into separate pieces? You know, when I think about this, I think about the VIN number on my car, right? The vehicle identification number. Well, it tells me different things about the car. It tells me about the engine, the transmission, and so on. All this information, kind of brought together into the single value. But occasionally I want to break it up into its individual pieces so that I could do things like sort on it or filter on it or you know report off of this data, perhaps group on it within a pivot table or whatever. But I need to be able to break this data up into its individual pieces before I can really work with it independently. So here in steps left, right, and mid. Three very powerful functions, but very simple functions that we can use inside of Excel to help us separate these values. Now, really, as you could probably tell by their names, they're positional functions. I need to find data that's on the left-hand side of a cell. I need to find data that's on the right-hand side of a cell. I need to find data that's someplace in the middle of the cell. Well, no problem. We got these three very similar functions to do this for us. Take a look. So I'll do supplier ID first. I'm going to go into E4. I'll go up to my formulas tab. I'm going to go into texts, and there's a whole slew of text-based functions, and I'm going to find left. All right. Now we're going to see right here in just a moment, the right function. Left and right are almost identical. The only difference is position. Whether the data you're looking for is on the left-hand side of the cell or the right-hand side. Other than that, they're exactly the same. Watch this. So first step, text. Wants to know where the text is at that I want to look at, that I want to get. So in my case, I'm inside of the number four row. So I'm going to grab the second skew here, which is inside of A4. There's my text. Now, num cars, num chars. This is the number of characters that I want to get from that cell on the left-hand side. I want to get three. And this is it. Super simple. Where's the text at? How many characters do you want on the left? I'll hit OK. And I'm done. ACM. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, let's try another one here. Let's do product code. Well, where's product code at? Is it on the left-hand side of the cell? I'm looking at A4 here. Is it in the middle? Is it on the right? Yeah, it's on the right. So once again, I'm inside of G4, formulas, text. This time, I'm going to find right. Look at that. Exact same arguments. First step, where's the text at? It's an A4. How many characters do I want? This time from the right-hand side, I want two. And that's it. WW. It's extracting the data out positionally. It's on the left, it's on the right. Well, how many characters do you want from the left or the right? All right, here's where it gets a little bit trickier. Not so much, it's still, still really simple, but now we need to get something from the middle. I need to get the middle three characters from the SKU. Well, here I am inside of F4. I'm gonna go back to formulas, back to text, and this time I'm gonna find mid. All right, now this one's a little bit different. First step, this should look familiar, text. Well, my text is inside of A4. All right, now the mid function, we need to find data that's someplace in the middle. Well, the mid function starts on the left. So it, first it needs to know how many characters do you want me to move from the left so that I get someplace in the middle. 
Well, for us, we're going to go ACM, that's three, one, two, three, four. We need to get started at this number one here. So I'm going to tell it, hey, let's go four characters. Okay. What do you think? Does that sound right? Let's take a look. Down here at the bottom, we got what start num is. It's the position, is the position of the first character you want to extract. The first character in text is one. So A is one. What we're going to tell it is the first character that we want to extract, which is the fourth character. And then how many characters do we want? Well, I want to get the middle three. So I'm going to type in three. I'll hit OK. And there it is. 111. ACM for the supplier ID, 111 for part number, and WW for product code. Really simple, very, very efficient functions, very powerful functions. If you've ever done this manually, retyping values based on something else, ah, uh, what a task, what a headache. Get Excel to do it for you. So try this out. Get comfortable working with left, right, and mid.